All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be watching You Season 3, Episode 9. In the last episode, Joe kind of found a loophole. See, Love wants to spice up their relationship. She wants to try and get the spark back, you know? So she, she asked Joe, what about an open marriage? We'll start with Sherry and Carrie first and see how it goes. So I guess we'll be trying, <clears throat> guess we'll be trying that in this episode. Uh, but Joe sees that as more of like a loophole. Now, I don't think that loophole is really gonna work out in his favor, to be honest, because that's not what love meant. Love meant it more of like, let's, let's let's both choose who we do an open marriage with you know let's not just go and fuck everyone in the goddamn city you know so yes if love finds out she's not gonna like the fact that it's joe's boss so i don't see that going very well and also matthew he tapped into every single security camera in madre linda and he has facial recognition on every single camera and now he's keeping track of joe and love that that's how the last episode ended so he's gonna find some shit about them now i don't think he can go back into old footage i think he can only look at live footage but he's gonna catch them doing some shit i don't think he's gonna catch them you know if they murder someone disposing of their body i think he's gonna ca catch theo doing some shit with love and then he's gonna be like what the fuck and then joe's that's how joe's gonna find out love and theo are kind of fucking on the side too and it's just gonna be a shit show and i can't wait so anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on patreon and youtube membership so click the join button down below but anyways let's get started i won't let her hurt you marion i will stay ahead of her this time oh also i forgot to mention marion told joe that she can't do this anymore because she's worried that she'll lose custody of her own child so even though that joe has this loophole now she's not going to want to be with him because well she doesn't want to lose custody of her own child so it's like but he's probably just going to convince her or whatever so i'm a monogamist some might even say a serial monogamist so imagine my joe if you were a monogamist why the fuck are you trying to fuck mary and while you're still married to love i guess his feelings for love are gone so it's I don't know, whatever but he's still committed to love so like after my conversation with Dottie about the fate of love's first husband i need to tread lightly yeah oh also apparently love killed her last husband too he didn't die of cancer she killed him so but now joe's being cautious because he doesn't know for sure i mean she killed uh candace pretty easily and delilah so like yeah yeah Dottie could have been on to something there because she didn't know for sure but she that's what she thought did you and james ever do anything like this no he wasn't much of a risk taker we were very far into our marriage when when you killed him james didn't really know what he wanted and he got cold feet and i wasn't like allowed to be mad ever i'm so sorry that my wife almost definitely murdered her first husband <laughs> but i seem to recall mentioning to you yeah guilty i, mm. I knew you wanted to submit so don't they give us a sec mm. joe you can't be doing shit like that was I not clear? You're a married man, we are not a same. And we're friends, that's it, but yeah, message received. You're right, you're right. Listen, I'm not the type of guy to, 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 to go around sticking my nose in. This is hard on your daughter. I wish I could fix it. I want to fix everything for you. How are we gonna get back to us? Well, I'm just tired. Yeah, or bored. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> He's just doing it on purpose, so she'll leave him. I thought you didn't want to. I don't know, I don't know what I want. I got married so young. How old is Love and Joe? I don't think they ever told us their age. I'm gonna say Love is at least late 20s. Joe is early 30s. I have to guide her gently. I haven't done any experimenting either. So you've never had a threesome? No. Unless you count under the bed with Peach Salinger and her drug dealer. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, this is just fun to talk about. <laughs> Time to move to the next step. <laughs> Did Talk to the experts. Bullseye. I'm sure Sharon and Carrie would be happy to give us a walk through. I'd rather fuck a cactus. <laughs> I mean, we would just be asking them questions, right? Yeah, we're not committing to anything. Ooh. Closure is mandatory. Whoa, okay. So it's a fucking, we gotta sign an NDA, all right. Girl on girl, usually a given. <laughs> Love and carry. I couldn't care less, but can't appear too game. I mean, I trust you. I mean, I guess Joe genuinely just doesn't give a fuck. I feel like it's gonna change when they're actually doing it, then. For you, Marion, I will walk through fire. And what about Joe and me? Seeing as Love killed the last woman I almost slept with. I think that's enough. It's fine by me. 
What do you mean? Ooh. Do you well, not no, want no, no, to? No, 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 I did not. I thought... Ooh. It's a while. You can tell when a foundation's a little shaky. It's just you two are so young. Just stuff to get on the same page. Okay, they fucking dipped. How they bounced fast. He was more of like protecting Sherry right there, if anything, because he's like doesn't want to love the tweak. But he's like love still has her feelings for Joe. They're just really surprised because of Joe. Yeah, I mean maybe Joe genuinely just doesn't give a fuck. But I feel like once they're actually doing it. And if Carrie and Love start fucking, Joe's gonna see it and he's gonna actually start to like care and he's gonna start tweaking. Like in theory, he thinks he doesn't care, but uh, I don't know, dude. It's just hard to, it's just hard to believe he doesn't care. Mm, trying uh, to kiss him. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that was hope, the least I can do. Speak of the devil. What, it, what do you mean, what? Wrong person? Oh, quit staring at me. I'm trying to read. Oh. I guess we're having fun now. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The fuck? Is that Theo? The fuck? <laughs> oh, it's the. Uh... Oh, Joe's gonna get jealous right here. Joe's gonna get jealous right here. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't even see you there. Oh, Love's gonna flirt with that. Yeah, Love's gonna do something to make him jealous. Make Joe jealous. I saw Joe's car in the driveway. He's taking a nap. Mm -mm, when he's right there. Theo just like just looked that exact direction where Joe was. Like I'm surprised he didn't see Joe. He looked right at the house. He's awake. Yeah, right. And he's watching us. Well then we uh we better behave. Right. Ah, uh, nothing happened, so fucking creep show. How did that make you feel? Jealous? A large amount of nothing, however... Mm. Possessive. My wife needs to feel like mildly transgressing with that idiot rich kid did the trick. Yeah. I'm going to satisfy her, as only someone who knows her can. I love you so much. <gasps> bro, remember when Joe tried to do that to fucking back at the store? Like, dude, so fucking wild for that one, dude. Right now, we could get some tacos, could hang out a bit. Yeah, I'd love that. Um, I gotta, I gotta send this thing tonight. It's a letter to the dean. Uh, I'll bring you something back. What do you want, Alpha Store? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, Thanks, done. Dad. He's gonna sneak in his office, huh? Yep. He wanted to actually spend time with him, but then he's like, wait, no, I can send them off so I can go to his office. And so he made up that thing about the dean. That's Joe in love. Oh my god. Oh, you see them arguing right there. It's scary, isn't it? Oh, sh you, you, you realize that this is domestic abuse, right? I wouldn't be looking at love if she weren't connected to Natalie. Why would they be? If this was a live feed, why would they be arguing? So this has to be old footage from a while ago, a couple episodes ago, remember? What is it you think you're doing with Love Quinn? Mm, he knows. <laughs> you spied on me? No, I didn't spy on you. So what, you're accusing Love of murder? No, well... I don't have proof. And you and you're acting like job. a stupid fucking brat. Just move Ooh. on, okay? She's dead. She's dead. Bro. Chill. None of this is going to bring her back. I mean, Theo's protecting love right there, but like, dog, chill the fuck out. What? You heard me. Get out. Pack your sheet. Go back to your mom's tomorrow. Get out. Get the fuck out now. God damn. Uh, Theo fucked up. What, what's he going to do? Try and go live with love? Tonight, we won't forget. To a blame-free exit from this marriage. I'd like to get this over with, but how do we get it started? Yeah, how do you start something like this? Like, I don't, that's so awkward. I don't know. Uh, full go. Uh, Total liberation. <laughs> what? Uh, what? She's scared. This isn't her, but she desperately wants it to be. And if you feel too overwhelmed, just use the safe word. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Disney should sue these people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do kind of, I do like how um, Sherry and Carrie are like being really supportive about it. They're taking it seriously in like in a mature way. I do like that. They make sure Joe and Love are comfortable no matter what. So, <sighs> Roll. magic potions. Oh my god! I KO'd myself like six times before getting my dosage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking one pump chubs here. 
Why did he get like two inches shorter when he took his shoes off? It's okay, you can look at it. Look at my dick. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? If you don't want to fuck yourself, well, how is someone else going to want to fuck you, my man? <sighs> Everything okay? Oh, I'm sorry, mm. I just didn't know who was to call because I have no fucking friends because of him. What happened? An anonymous email went out to all of my contacts. No, it was him because there were photos, explicit photos that only he has. And oh, no. What a fucking dickhead. Fuck Ryan, dude. She'll never work with me. He is truly evil. He needs to die. Joe's gonna kill him for sure. He's a piece of shit and you're gonna win. We, we'll figure out. I'll help you. Do you want to come over? Mm, I'm sure he does. He does. How is he gonna get out of this situation? I'd give anything to. Okay, so this is really happening. Uh, mm, I ooh, ooh, ah. <laughs> That's where you gotta shave. What? Love's gonna get jealous too. Watching Joe and Jerry. Are you okay with this? More than okay. Sorry to ask twice, but is there something wrong? Hey, sweetie, just wait for the pill to kick in. Yeah, he's not. He's not gonna be able to get hard. But I don't want love. I don't want. Sh All I want is you. Big boy. Ooh. Oh, at least he loves face. And he's imagining Sherry's marrying. Mm, yeah, love phase. Oh, oh, I'm doing it oh. Yeah, love couldn't do, love couldn't handle it. Like, what happened? If Carrie was doing love, then I, Who is Joe. She? Oh, oh, oh. Who were you thinking about just then? Oh, fuck. nobody. She knows, cause he wasn't in the sherry. He had a blank face on when looking at love. That would be good enough for you. This was your idea. Oh, well, I had to do something. I don't need you to worry about me. I need your heart. Henry needs your Please, heart. Just leave Sexy as self so you don't get bored and find another Natalie. Our marriage is completely one-sided. Absurd. You made me kill her. Fucking <gasps> patterns. I killed Natalie for you. Oh, shut the fuck up. Carrie and Sherry are right upstairs. Shut the fuck up. Maybe they didn't hear anything. Maybe. We have to know for sure. Sherry has this tell when she's lying. She scratches her heart. Act like everything's chill. See if they're acting different, you know? Oh, <laughs> Joe has a Oh, I'm great. Mm. Why don't... Fuck. Fuck. Do, oh, do we have to kill them? Fuck. Go. Go. <gasps> oh, shit! Where? Oh, no. He's to his back. There you go. It's gonna end badly for love, too. Dude. Oh, God. I don't see Joe getting out of this. Yeah. Oh, the piece of glass. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, Carrie's a fucking tank, bro. I don't, I don't know if Joe can kill him. I mean, yeah, unless he gets a good, clean stab or whatever, but Carrie's unkillable, apparently. Why did Carrie even try to run? Like, why didn't he just try and fight, like, in the room, you know? He could be a Matthews by now. Oh, oh, the, I fucking said the bow and arrows. I fucking said it. Someone's gonna die by the bow and arrows and it's gonna be Carrie and Cherry. Let's go back inside. We can talk about this. Oh, I never see you again. I get impaled. Love goes to prison. He has to, he has to do it for Mary. <laughs> no. <laughs> Or you just gotta do that right in his fucking head. Right in his temple, or uh, just take a rock, yeah. Damn, RIP Carrie. Carrie, he was wild, dude. He was a character, and he was entertaining, at least. And Sherry's dead, okay. <laughs> they both killed him. Well, what the fuck do we do now? They were very popular in this town. We're gonna start thinking there's a fucking serial killer. Hmm. <laughs> You killed for me, Joe. Damn, love. The spark our marriage needed doesn't come from swinging. It comes from killing. Love language is violence. What was that last night? With the Conrads? I saw their car. I thought I heard someone scream. And now the Conrads are gonna go missing. And Joe and love are the last people to be around them. Matthew's, he's, it's gonna convince him even more. They're gonna have to kill Matthew too. They're gonna have to. That happened. 
You killed it. You were so great. I'm so glad you were here. Both of you. What was that? Yeah. Are Ryan and the judge friends? Yep. I thought he was about to like pay him off or something, like hand him some money. The system is rigged. Then as long as he's in the picture, you are always going to lose. Yeah, so we got to kill him. So Sherry and Carrie were not the last people we kill. Yeah, I'm okay. What about? Oh, there. They're just wiping up. Oh, they're, oh, they're not dead? Shit, okay. Clearly my plan has backfired. My wife seems more into me than ever. Damn, I mean, yeah, I didn't like show love kill Sherry or anything. What the fuck are we seeing here? Oh, sure. Dude, it's fucking Carrie about to break out. I mean, yeah, I never showed love kill Sherry or anything. And like Joe only hit him with a rock once. So I guess, yeah. Watch, they're going to find the key in one of the jars that love left How in. How the fuck are these two getting out of here alive? All right. Well, that was episode eight. All right, well, we have Sherry and Carrie in the cage now. That's great. So we tried hooking up with them. It didn't really work. Love, she couldn't watch Joe and Sherry fuck because Love still has feelings for Joe. Meanwhile, Joe has, I guess Joe has absolutely no feelings for Love whatsoever. Those are completely gone. Those are dead. But I feel like if Love and Sh um, Carrie started fucking, that Joe probably would have had a similar reaction, to be honest. Or maybe, I don't know. I'm calling Joe's bluff, to be honest. I'm calling his bluff. I don't believe him that he genuinely he genuinely does not care i don't believe that i think if he caught love and theo fucking he would do something about it then i don't know i don't know maybe he is just really in the marion i don't know but yeah now we gotta deal with love and carrie we're gonna have to kill them again we're gonna have to there's no way we let them out we have to kill them there's no way there's no possible way so i don't see that ending well and matthew's on to them now he knows sherry and carrie were over here whatever now he's gonna hear that they're missing he's gonna know it's directly related to love i want to know Know is what they didn't show us is how did joe get them to the bakery hmm i feel like matthew's gonna tap into one of the cameras and he's gonna see them load up the bodies in the car and then boom he's gonna catch him right there and then joe's gonna have to kill matthew so and then also i think he's gonna kill ryan so i th i don't think sherry and carrie are the last people they kill i think ryan and matthew are definitely next then after that maybe theo but i doubt it but anyways that was you season three episode eight comment down below just thought about this episode down below in the comments if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching